Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? I'm chilling, man. Honestly, kind of bored. Came here to watch a little hoop, but these guys come to trash. Hey, look, you want me to get in there? I got my sneakers on. Nah, 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 nah. You know what you can do? What? Do a little dance. You want me to do what? A little dance. Dance. You see a little song. Yo, that was hilarious, bro. Thank you. Nah, nah, I needed that. The thanks is all yours. Yeah, I'm happy I could be a service to you, I guess. Yeah, man. Hey, so look, I'll check you later. I gotta bounce. All right, look, man. Yo, take it easy. Hey, the moves, keep it up, man. Come on, man. Pacers start off with the ball. And Greg, when it comes to load management, why do we see more of it now than when you play? Well, for me, the science of sport has evolved. And, and it's not just the athlete. It's the technology and the science that goes into making a better athlete. That's why you're seeing load management far more acceptable to the masses now, understanding that this is about the long game. So the Indiana Pacers able to put the first points up on the board. To the middle, Turner with the steal. Fast break, here they come. Here's Levert. Drops it in from 11 feet. Really good to see Turner find the open man, proving once again he's a team first guy. Crowder sets a screen for Lewis over Sabonis. And it's off the back rim, no good. Look at the last game for the Suns. It was a win against the Pistons in Detroit. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. And it was funny, the road arena didn't bother them at all. I mean, they locked in, focused, and executed, and got it done. And something I like about T.J. Warren's game is his ability to create his own shot. He's got great footwork and creates separation much easier than most. Yeah, you know what, Greg? You're, you're so right in that observation. He's a bucket getter, and his footwork fundamentals are superb. And even when he doesn't get separation, complete separation, he can still make tough shots. And he can get points 
in bunches. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here's Lewis. In the game against Detroit, very impressive. A special moment in the career of MP. GA, he is secure to shoot him. Adidas looking to sign the biggest stars. They like MP, and I think that'll be a tremendous partnership. Levert is always aggressive. I like that mindset of his, especially in how he drives to the rim playing downhill. Goes there with a lot of speed. The putback. The rebound by Turner. The Pacers have gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. Brogdon the pass to Levert. Back to Brogdon. There's the three. Hits it from three-point range. Brogdon's got five. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball move. McGee is screen on Levert. Outside Lewis. He makes that one drop only a second and five tries. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Sabonis, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. MP finds Paul. Back to Lewis. Three-pointer. Another miss by MP. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Turner passes to Warren. Levert in the corner. And the Pacers, another three. And you can't help but... Phoenix Things coming too easy. At some point, defensively, you have to take something away. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Turner. Jeremy Land comes in for T.J. Warren. Edmund Sumner's checked in for Karis LeVert. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Brogdon. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Sharch is checked in for JaVale McGee. Frank Kaminsky comes in for Jay Crowder. Cameron Johnson's checked in for Mikel Bridges. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. Here's McConnell. After the basket by Dario Sharch. Here's Sumner. Oh, that's blocked. Like watching Sharich make his presence felt with blocks like these. Payne kicks to Lewis. Back to Payne. Lewis, right side. Five on the clock. A three-pointer is Three. right on target. Lewis has got his third basket of the night right there. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Lamb. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Johnson dishes to paint. Lewis outside. Sharch with the screen for Lewis. Kaminsky in the corner. Lewis on the way. Let's go. And the Suns tack on two more. And so lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. Your Pacers, 16. The Suns, your Pacers. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pacers. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And also, it's been a positive to watch that they've attacked the paint offensively as well. It's really a bit about the balance that they've shown. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court for the Suns. The forwards for them, Bridges and Johnson. MP is out there with Paul, and it's Kaminsky in at the center, locking down the middle. And here's Levert after the three-pointer from Lewis. Frank Kaminsky the third. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Second line for the Pacers. 
in that explosiveness of Levert. We've seen it on nights when he gets hot and becomes unstoppable. Greg, how about that game in 2020 when he went for 37 points in the fourth quarter and overtime alone? Levert's a player that doesn't know the meaning of the phrase heat check. He can give it to you, boy. And here's Levert following the three from Lewis. And Greg has it in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. And it's Paul with the ball for Phoenix. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. And a wide-open look for MP. Another three for Phoenix. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowed. Levert against Lewis tries the spin move. On the wing, Turner. Crowder against Warren. Four on the shot clock. Fires for three. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Lewis. He's got 20. Paul outside. Back to Lewis. And there's the foul. It's on Tory Craig. That's his first, That's his first foul. You first know what? Foul. Substitution on the court. That's the end of the first half with the score. Your Pacers, 36. The Suns, 46. from deep here you talk about dialed in well you know the stroke looks fantastic even when he's had a hand in his face it hasn't affected him at all and you look at the 2021 draft class just some unbelievable talent at the top i mean kate cunningham for me probably is the consensus best player but man you got guys like Suggs and green and kaminga with that rare athleticism and then how about mobley he really defines what a modern-day big is supposed to be. I mean, what more could you want? In the post, it's Sabonis and Turner. Lavert on the wing. He's paired with Warren. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Lavert the pass to Brogdon. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Good evening, Kevin. Malcolm Brogdon has become a Pacers stalwart. He said, I fit the identity of this team as an underdog that overperforms and proves me wrong. It has to be the leader of this team. I lead with my voice and by example. I'll be fearless on the court so that my teammates can follow. Kevin? I love what he's about, David. Thank you. Lewis passes to Paul. Here's McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. Pass first mindset of Paul. When you leave somebody open on his squad, he's going to make you pay for it. Pass to Brockett. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Brockett. And the substitution for the Suns. Charge is checked in. Here's Paul. This is the most they've led by 13 points. MP deciding where to go with it. Inside, and there's Charge on the assist by Lewis. Charge has got nine points. Like the smarts by Charge there. Very good at working the pick and roll and getting the shot he wants. Levert, and he throws it down hard with one hand. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Lewis gets the bucket. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. And with Chris Paul, he makes this team work. Gets the most out of his teammates and has done that wherever he's played. Now, here's Warren. Five points in the game. Shot clock at six. The from outside. Bridges with the board. 
Suns leading by 16. As you said, Paul's teams often overachieve in the standing. People still <laughs> underestimate his impact. Sets up and improves his guys as well as anyone. And he's the engine to this whole operation. So, timeout call. All right, fans, get on your feet and make some noise. The arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around Marcus stopping Mays. this long range assault. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Tory Craig, he's checked in for Sabonis. Jeremy Lamb comes in for TJ Warren. Edmund Sumner's checked in for Karis LeVert. And it's TJ McConnell in for Brogdon. Now here's McConnell. He's still scoreless so far in this one. The shot's good from Sumner. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Sharks with the screen for Lewis. Johnson in the corner. Lewis against Turner. Pulls up. That one, no good. And Indiana will go the other way with it. They're off to battle the Clippers after this game as they'll be playing at the Staples Center. They hit the road with that, the first of a five-game run. And the shot goes in. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Lewis dishes to Sharch. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Assisted. Lewis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The pass to Sumner. This is the lamp. McConnell kicks to Craig. Lamb with the ball. Now guarded by Sharks. Suns leading by 16. Lewis on the way. Sharks a screen on Craig. Out to the wing. Here's Payne. Another three for Phoenix. They've given up a three lot points. of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Turner up top. Covered by Sharch. Here's Sumner. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. To be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgic, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it does make me look back a little bit, but I could never throw it down Dyer like that. Solid. It sure does Assist look good. Goes to Big Cameron miscommunication Payne. on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense That's looks the shell shocked. The I mean, they're on the score. Your Pacers, 46. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on, get loud for your face made. Accuracy. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for the Suns, up it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. Paul out there with MP, and it's McGee in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Bridges kicks to Lewis. Crowder a screen on Levert to the inside. Crowder finds Paul. Ice ball movement by Phoenix. Count the basket. Assisted by. That's 28 points for MP. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Pass to Warren. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. McGee's got four rebounds now tonight. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's they one of the many teams. areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Yeah, LeVert's so good at getting to his spots and capitalizing once there. Fun to watch him when he gets rolling like this. Ball passes to Lewis. Crowder sets a screen for Lewis. Ball kicks to Lewis. Crowder a screen on Levert. Stolen by Warren. Right side Lamb. Hits the three-point bomb. Lamb is a capable spot-up shooter. He's comfortable shooting off the catch. Ball passes to McGee. 
Lavert against Lewis. Sabonis with the steal. McConnell scanning the floor. At the top of the key, Sabonis. Six on the shot clock. Sabonis sets the pick for Lamb. Shoots over Crowder. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Pass to Bridges. Over to the left wing. Lewis outside. McGee is screen on Levert. Outside Lewis. A shot missing. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. McConnell finds Warren. Sabonis is screen on Crowder. Here's Warren. Crowder with the steal. Here's Lewis. The Suns keeping it alive. A new 14. That one drops for him. It really balances out. Indiana calls timeout. Substitution on the court at the line for the Suns. For the Suns. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. Yeah, and another thing, they, they've created a lot of turnovers, but they've also been able to convert when they've gotten out in transition. Craig kicks to Brockton. And a wide-open look for Lamb. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so, MV will bring it up for the Suns. Paul passes to McGee, outside for Lewis. Fires the three. Craig pulls it in. Pacers trail by 21. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. You can safely say mission accomplished now for the Suns. As one-sided as a guest today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And that next meeting will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. I think the next game will be hotly contested. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for MP. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Lewis on the wing. Avert defending. Out left to the wing. McGee sets the pick for Lewis. Over Sabonis. And it's Phoenix scoring again. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. That's the end of the game. Thank you for coming out and supporting your team. Please take care to get home safely, and we'll see you at the next event. All right, let's get started. Uh, Frank. It looked like you were freezing out your teammates to hunt your own shot. Did Coach express any disappointment in your shot selection tonight? He encouraged me to shoot more, actually. He did? Seemed like you had plenty of opportunities without him encouraging you. On a night like tonight, when I've got it going early, coach starts telling me to shoot early. But there's something that we constantly reevaluate, re because I could just go cold just as quick. Now look, coach wants us to shoot if we hot, though. So we ride it while it's hot. All right, so you didn't feel like you froze your teammates out? Like I said, Frank, there's always a balance you're looking for. But tonight, I felt good. Everyone kept telling me to shoot. So hey, I listened. Candace, it's been a minute. What's on your mind? Okay, so I gotta ask, how do you keep from getting complacent during a win streak like this? Obviously, at some point, it becomes human nature to take your foot off the gas. So I'm wondering what you guys do to, to battle that.
You know, I just find so much joy in what my life is. Every day I wake up and I, I get to play basketball. How amazing is that? And so, so for me, there's no problem with motivation. When you approach a day with joy and love and a lack of fear and ego, you, you have an infinite well of energy. Wow, I'm, I'm touched. Sounds, sounds so Zen and Buddhist of you. You know, I'm, I'm actually starting to get into exploring different religions, meditation, that sort of thing. So there's something to that for sure. I'm, I'm not a Buddhist though. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not a Buddhist or anything. I just think that they have some interesting ideas from what I've read and heard and yeah. Wow, that's deep. Namaste. Thank you, MP.